that's a lot my name is pastor vajesh kedavi thank you so much for tuning in this video god bless you and your family and it's going to be wonderful today today we are going to discuss on ufo which is a flying unidentified flying object now this will be called as ups that is unidentified aerial phenomena now along this 50 years many people have said reported that they have seen the ufos and also many videos they publish about the ufos but a very strange thing happened this week the government intervened into this topic of ufos now it's after 50 years in us parliament the topic ufo was discussed the member of parliament the us congressman they asked the questions to the defense department about the truth behind ufos and about the threat of ufos to the mankind and what is extraterrestrial have they communicated with the extraterrestrial so it was discussed in the us parliament the subject ufos and now as i said it is going to be called as unidentified aerial phenomena so we can say the government has put a stamp on this particular subject on the ufo because this 50 years government never used to take this 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 topic seriously but now they have become very serious about about this topic ufos and this was a a, a public hearing it was live telecasted maybe you must have watched this uh, live telecast so the pentagon officials they gave some fact they said this ufos are unexplained we don't have the proof it's an unexplained phenomena but it's true 400 cases are reported about the ufos and somebody asked questions have you communicated with the ufos have you had a close encounter with the ufos the official says we didn't communicate the aliens inside the ufos no there was any communication from them but out of 400 cases 11 cases were so close that our planes would have hit their ship and also they have released some video you can go and check the videos so this was discussed in the us parliament now this is very strange now we don't know what they are up to maybe they are preparing the world for something these officials have said that there is no solid proof and we have not got the debris of the ufos but they said it's true so maybe they are pre pre preparing the world from something which is going to happen in the future and this is what we are going to find today so this is the world point of view the world says this extraterrestrial these are the aliens now we are going to focus what the church thinks about this ufo phenomena as i said this is happening almost around 50 years so what the church feels about this does the church believe that yes it's a alien all these extraterrestrial are alien and these are ufos or the church believes some other things now see the church has two views there are some people who believe in one thing there are some people who believe in other things now the first view is that the church feels that these aliens are the fallen angels now many bible scholar they believe that the, yes these aliens are the fallen angels see i am just explaining what the church views about the aliens as i said there were two main views number one view the church feels these aliens are the fallen angels let's read one scripture here genesis chapter 6 the nephilim were on the earth in those days 
and also afterwards now what is the nephilim in here nephilim is the giants so the bible is saying here the nephilim were on the earth in those days means what the nephilim were there were existing before the flood and also after the flood the nephilim were existing means these giants were existing now how this nephilim came into existence it's mentioned there when the sons of god now what is the sons of god here the sons of god is the fallen angels as you know that the lucifer was thrown down from the heaven because he rebelled against god so when the uh, when the Luc lucifer was thrown from the heaven there were some angels who were supporting lucifer so along with the lucifer some angels were thrown into the earth from the heaven so these angels they were called as fallen angels so when the sons of god went to the daughters of humans and had children by them so these fallen angels when they were thrown from heaven to earth they saw the daughters of humans and they had the children to the daughters and that children were the giants they are called as the nephilim so bible says the nephilim were there before the flood and even the after the flood so it means that in the flood also the nephilim were not completely destroyed they were there that's what the scripture says so that's why many bible scholars they say that yes the aliens which you see these are the fallen angels so that's the that's the one view about the ufo's about the aliens now what is the second view now second view is that some bible scholars they believe that these are not the fallen angels these are the very good angels they quote one scripture for that that's in exodus th chapter 13 and the lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light that they might travel by day and by night the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night so this bible scholar they say that what you see you think that it's a ufo but this is not the ufo these are the pillars of cloud and these are in the triangular shape because you see the videos and many people have testified that they have seen a triangular like shape a white triangular shape so the bible scholar says that yes that's the angels the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night so one view the church believes that these are the fallen angels they quote that scripture genesis 6 and some believe these are not the fallen angels these are the real angels and they come in a pillar of cloud and the world says oh that's a ufo because they always say that that it's in triangular shape it's in white color it's in triangular shape so these are the two views of the church now i'm not debating into that views i'm just giving you what the world thinks about the ufos and what the church thinks about the ufos the world has already certified that these are the aliens from another planet but the church said these are not the aliens these are the angels some say these are the fallen angels some say these are the real angels but the world doesn't believe in angels so they will never subscribe to this but anyway as i said that why this is happening why the government is supporting this ufo why they have why they are discussing in in the parliament and why the why why there has been increase in the in the cases the britain has also said that last year around 200 cases were reported about the ufo's 
Why this is happening? Maybe they are preparing the world for something. What? They are preparing the world for something. Maybe they are changing the, the, the thinking process of the people in this world. Because majority of the people believe that yeah, these are the UFO, these are the aliens. Let's go to First uh, Thessalonians chapter 4. Very important. It says here, For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we will believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen or slipped in him. Now this is, this is talking about the rapture. Now this is going to happen very soon. We are in the end times. We are so close to the rapture. See, these people are talking about the UFOs now. It means we are so close to the rapture. Now I'm not saying because of the UFOs we are close to the rapture, but we have some other confirmation also. Israel has completed 70 years. We have completed around 2000 years after Jesus Christ. The Jews are coming back to Israel. So a lot of signs. We say that we are close to the rapture and this UFOs thing. So what it says here, we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen or slip in him. See what's going to happen that in the rapture. Now rapture is now. Rapture is not after the tribulation, some Christians believe, but the rapture is, is before the tribulation. And some Christians always say, where is the scripture for rapture? This is the scripture for rapture. When the rapture is going to happen, what's going to happen is that Jesus Christ is going to come in the cloud. But he's not going to come alone, he's going to bring those who have fallen asleep in him. Miss all our loved ones who have died in Christ, their souls are in the heaven, their bodies is on the earth it's in the cemetery but the souls they are living in the heaven so Jesus is going to get their souls along with him according to the Lord's word we tell you that we who are still alive who are left until the coming of the Lord will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep now Paul was very confident that in his lifetime the rapture is going to happen my dear brothers and sisters, we are so cl close to the rapture that this generation will see the rapture. We will not die, but we will be changed. In, our bodies will be changed to a glorified bodies. It says that who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the will certainly not precede those who have fallen or slip. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a, with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in the Christ will rise first as I said Jesus is getting their souls so what's going to happen is that the bodies that bodies will be will be resurrected and the soul and the bodies will meet and it's going to form a glorified bodies and then they will make it to heaven after that we who are still alive hey, will be alive when the rapture is happen we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air so all we are going to be raptured together and we are going to meet the Lord in the air and from that we are, will be taken to heaven. Hey, this is, this is the rapture. This is the scripture which talks about the raptures. So we'll be with, with the Lord forever. Therefore encourage one another with this word. Encourage my dear brothers and sisters that Jesus is going to come. He's going to come soon. We are not focused on these UFOs. Our eyes are focused on Jesus who is the finisher and who is the perfecter of our faith. We are looking to Jesus. But the world is preparing the people for something. Preparing the world for something. Why they are bombarding the people with all these UFOs, all these aliens? Because when the rapture is going to happen, billions of people will be in the heaven. Billions of people will go missing. Just imagine there will be so missing complaints. Uncle will say, oh my, my wife is gone. My wife is missing. Some will say, my sons are missing. My daughters are missing. My father is missing. My mother is missing. My neighbors are missing. How these people are going to explain them? How come so many people are missing from all over the world? 
it's not it's not just a one country all over the world how they are going to explain see they are not going to say that oh jesus jesus came and there was a trumpet and all were all were changed into glorified bodies and they met jesus in the year and jesus took them to heaven because it's going to happen so fast but they are not going to talk about jesus because they don't like to talk about jesus because they hate to talk about jesus the world hates to talk about jesus i i'm speaking to america i'm speaking to uk i'm speaking to the european countries it's time to wake up i'm not saying there are some great uh, great christians who are there in this country i'm not talking about them i'm talking about in totality they have gone away from jesus they don't want to talk about jesus and just recently i just i just read the survey of america they say most of the parent they don't believe in jesus for salvation see if, if the parent don't believe in jesus for salvation what they are going to pass to the children they don't want to talk about jesus a sportsman was fired in australia because he shared one scripture in the social media they said you are not supposed to do it a teacher gets fired puts the scripture on her desk the nurses are fired when they talk about jesus so what i'm saying is that these people will not say jesus came so they will say what they will say oh this this ufo came this aliens came and they took your mother they took your daughters they took these people we along with them and you know the world is going to believe because it's almost 50 years we are bombarded with this UFOs so many movies have may, have come so people know that yes these are and the people are going to believe they will not believe in Jesus but they are going to believe in this but we know that see the rapture is so close so when this happen they are going to say oh it happened because the UFOs because of the aliens see we, we were telling you we were always telling you in the news we all discuss that in the parliament but you didn't believe see they took your your family but that's wrong they are taken by jesus and they are in the heaven so my dear brothers and sisters it's it's we are in the last days i want to speak to people in uk i want to speak to people in america i want to speak to speak to people in don't feel shame to take the name of jesus i'm not talking i'm talking in totality there are some good christian please don't get me wrong but don't feel ashamed to talk about jesus that name is so powerful there is power in that name that name is above all the sickness is destroyed when you take that name every witchcraft every power of darkness is destroyed when you take that name the poverty leaves when you take that name the depression leaves when you take that name and if you are ashamed of that name you are going to miss out in this life and after you leave this earth you are going to go you are you will go into the place where you don't want to be the bible says there be weeping and crying that's hell and then you will say oh now i'll take the name of jesus sorry even if you take thousand times jesus name in the hell you are not going to get saved if you are in the hell you cannot come to heaven so today is the time to take a decision to believe in Jesus Christ because he is the alpha and the omega he is the prince of peace he is the beginning and the end let's pray almighty and awesome father god thank you so much for this time bless this time lord jesus i pray all this most holy lord jesus christ amen